Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I haven't made a monster spotlight video in, I guess, quite a while. Uh, ever since I started the list, I have quite a few people in queue, so I'm definitely going to be doing these a lot more in the future, uh, or in the near future. I'm just going to be going down the list and just going through everybody. If you want me to spotlight a monster or do a similar video for one of your monsters, um, private message me on Discord. There's a link below in the description. You can hop on my Discord server and uh, send me a private message telling me a little bit about your monster, your in-game name, and all that stuff. And we can uh, we can add you to the queue. There's there's quite a lot of people, so I'm, I'm going to have to um, go through this as... as uh, as fast as I can. Well, maybe not that fast, but just uh, you know, go 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 through them one by one. So today we have um, we have wait, I lost her. Where is she? Dang it! I shouldn't have like wait. She she really disappeared. All right, this is uh, Kura Mora, I think. I think that's 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 uh, that's 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 his name. Or K Kura Makai. Kura Makai. My bad. Kira Makai, and um, this is his Light Odin, and now I actually borrowed this Light Odin in a test video in the past. I, I forgot which test video it was, but today we're going to be doing a, an official monster spotlight for, for her. So this this Light Odin is currently gemmed with, um, I think it's a broken set, but it is a, a 6 star, um, you know, triple HP 6 star set, and it has very, very high resist, so <coughs> this one's got 31 this one's got 22, and then this one's got uh, 26. So definitely very, very high resist um, Light Odin. Definitely really, really strong for PvP. Also Evo 3. Fortunately not Variant, but then, then again, I don't have a Variant either. Like, Variant Nat 5s are super hard to get. So, for this video, I wanted to... Um, I guess we can do a damage test. Well, we're using like a Light Unit versus uh, the Dark Golem. I would do like a, you know, a solo tanking test, but it's it's pretty clear that she can solo tank this no problem like even at evo 2 she can solo tank this very very easily so we're gonna do a we're gonna do a damage test video um now to make this fair i will not use a leader skill um yes i, I won't use a leader skill that's that's how i'll make this fair and we'll throw in an armor breaker um a team morale booster so they get their aoe up a little bit more and I guess we'll just have her uh, take take the damage as well, so we can see how much, uh, you know, basically how tanky she is and how much damage she can absorb from the enemy at the same time, while looking at how, um, you know, how much damage she does on armor broken units. And these two are just here to boost bars to make sure she gets her AOE more often, so we can we can see her skills more. All right, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to stop the auto. Now, let's do a damage comparison. We're going to hit these two sparklers, all right? So the first hit's going to be without armor break, and then we're going to armor break this, this sparkler and hit him, hit him the turn after, okay? So uh, to try first, I'm going to try to armor break this. See if we can get it. All right, we got it. Actually, wait, there's no way. They have zero resist, so it's there's no way I can miss. All right, we're going to see how much damage he does with her first skill. I think that was four hits of five thousand. That was like twenty k. Yeah, she does a lot of damage, especially when it's like light against dark. So she's very, very good because she's a light unit, and you can use light units to have elemental advantage against darks, so they do more damage. And plus, all the dark units will um, will hit the the light Odin. So this is like a very, very effective strategy to build a team for for um, Golem Speed Ten. This is like basically the solo solo tanking strategy. Now we're gonna see how well she tanks with four units hitting her at the same time. Yeah, they, they did barely any damage. And usually in one or two turns, um, you should be able to kill something, so it'll definitely be very, very easy. All right, we're going to hit this little sparkler and on the on the armor break, and hopefully it doesn't crit so we can see a damage comparison. All right, that thing crit, but it was like uh, 15, 15k a hit per crit, so we can definitely compare that to another, another sparkler. Um, I think it was five hits. I think she does five by... Uh, but if I didn't, if I see, if I saw it correctly, I think that was five hits. Now the other really good thing about using Light Odin for dungeons, or especially for solo tanking B10, 
is that she's also a uh, a healer at the same time. So she she can serve three roles. Um, she does a bit of damage, which is well, I guess I I can't really call that a role. I guess that's kind of a bonus thing. Um, but the good thing about her is she serves as a light tank as well as the healer. So she serves like those two very important roles, and at at the same time she's also doing a lot of damage. So that's that's very very good because um, she's gonna heal for forty percent. Like if you if she's hitting four units, she's gonna heal for ten percent of her HP each time on 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 each unit. So uh, basically, like if she's if she's at sixty percent health, it's gonna max heal. If you're pairing her up with other attackers, she's pretty much gonna max heal everybody. So we're gonna see how much damage or or we can see how much damage this does. At the same time, we can see how much it heals. It it won't do a lot of damage. It's gonna do a lot of healing. So that was like four ticks of 12k, um, which is about, wait, my math is really bad. It's like a 40, 48k heal. So that's that's definitely quite a lot. Um, yeah, so it's 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 fairly simple. Like she can, she can solo tank, she can heal at the same time, which means her runs are gonna be super, super stable. Like they, they do barely any damage to her. And at the same time, she's going to help you clear waves because her she's a light aggressor, so her uh, her damage is, is is quite high as well. At the same time, yeah, that was like that was like nine k a hit for uh, for for non crit. Pretty much the reason why she's so stable is, uh, you know, first of all, my other units are not attackers. If I was using attackers, it would be more likely that I would kill something, so less things would be actually attacking her. But every time she gets a full bar, she's almost gonna just like, she's, she's just gonna max heal herself. Well, she's over 60%, she's always gonna, she's gonna max heal everybody else, and she's gonna recover 40% of her HP. And like, four of these monsters can't even do 40% of her HP, you know. So after she heals up for a full bar, like I can, I can uh, test this out. Like I can just hit some random units, have all four of them hit her, and it's not even gonna do forty percent of her her bar. Like every time she just like gets her bar full, she's just gonna max heal everybody. So that's why using Light Odin to solo tank B10 is super super stable. But she does require level 45 to get. Um, you don't even need her evil 3. Even at evil 2, she's she's plenty strong. So I definitely do recommend um, using using her for uh, for Golem and speed 10. And I think as an aggressor, um, she can do quite a lot of damage to the Golem as well. Yeah, like that was a crit. You know, with her being so tanky, she actually still does a lot of damage. So she's got like really, really nice utility. I, I did some tests with her before, so I don't I don't think it's really necessary to show her um, like doing a, just a full auto run and and solo tanking because there's there's already no point like it's it, pretty much everybody knows uh, if you don't know I'm telling you this now she can solo tank this very very easily. The unfortunate thing is all my other units have barely any damage, so it's not gonna do too much damage to the golem. But even her by herself, like she just broke the shield just now, by herself. Um, but that that is also like an on an armor, on an armor broken uh, golem. You definitely want to bring some sappers for the golem, but she can help protect those sappers by healing them at the same time. Like even at even with three units, she's gonna max heal everybody. I can I can actually just show you this right now. So look at everybody; they're all like low health. She just does this. And then max heal, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Because she has so much HP herself, and her heal is based off of HP. Also, her damage is based off HP. So you basically just like stack a shit ton of damage, and uh, you know it's 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 a it's an easy win. It's an easy win. 
I mean, you, you stack a shit ton of HP, and she just, she just, she just wrecks Golem and everything. And this is also without a leader skill. Like, if you had an HP lead, like, she's gonna be even more amazing. Um, she's also a really nice monster for PvP, but unfortunately, because this is not my monster, I'm not able to show her off in PvP. So yeah, that was pretty much it. That was a monster spotlight video. Um, if you want me to do a monster spotlight for you, you can follow the Discord link below. Um, I have a link to my Discord channel, and you can PM me there, and I'll add you. There's a, actually a channel you can you can look on my Discord Discord server. Um, there's a channel near the top called Monster Spotlight Cues, and if you go in, it'll it'll list from top to bottom. Um, basically like everybody that's that's in queue for a monster spotlight and I basically I just go down them one by one and if I um, I'll, I'll add them to the, the friend list uh, when it's like when it's time and and yeah we can we can show off your monsters and you're you can you can be famous as well uh, so yeah that's that's pretty much it um, I'll I'll be I'll try to I'm not sure if I can do it tomorrow. It's probably gonna take two more days to put together a D'Artagnan. Um, it's gonna it's gonna take a while. Like I have a few D'Artagnans, but I, it's it's definitely not a lot. Um, and I need to do the fusion. So basically, I need to make them evil two, fuse them into each other, and then still have fifteen more D'Artagnans, which means I will need. Wait, my math is so so bad. Uh, sixteen plus wait, wait fifteen plus uh. 15 plus, wait, how many do I need to make a fusion? Or I need, I need 8. So I need 23. I basically, I need 23 D'Artagnans to... I, I just gave up on trying to speak his name the French way. It's just like, it's just impossible, alright? Like the... I, I can't pronounce his name properly. Like, any, anyone that like knows French or anything might be triggered. Like how... How whenever someone calls Hana Hannah, like I just I can't. But I guess now I'm guilty of it as well. It's supposed to be pronounced something like Dachtanyan or something like that, but I, I can't do it because I'm not French. Um. Yeah, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I have, only have 11, so I need like 20 something. I still need like, I need double this amount to just make one. This 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 capture event is hard, alright? It's not easy. This this capture event is so much harder than uh, than all the all the ones before. But I guess they, they kind of just want us to rely on the, uh, the, pack, the support package. So uh, you kind of have to use this to, to kind of boost your rates up a little bit, which I guess, I mean, I guess it's all right. You know, you uh, as long as I get one, I'm pretty good. I don't need like need to make like five light ones like before with the Sarah event. Um, but yeah, that, that is, that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.